Welcome to one of my favorite demos of GoZinc. Um, we've got some files on the iPad here, including this one called Mobile, which ships with GoZinc. It's uh, our example file. It's got a bunch of invoices in it, and this particular copy has about 500 in it. And what we're going to do is we're going to upload these, we're going to push these to our FileMaker server and see what happens when we break the connection midway. Now, one of these has already been sent. You can see it right there. And let's take a look at what that looks like on the server. Because remember, we're not connecting to the serve files directly. We're connecting to this hosted intermediary file. That's faster, right? The, your serve file may have its own indexes and everything. It's faster to just connect to this. And here is the record that we pushed up already, invoice number 761. And you'll see that's the same invoice number that's on the iPad, right? 761. So what we're going to do, we've got this offline copy of FileMaker Go here. We've got a 3G connection. We're going to eventually click Upload All and push these 500 records up to our FileMaker Pro server and see what happens if we break the connection midway, such as if you were walking out of cell phone range or if you're on an iPhone and you got a phone call. So let's click Upload All here. Click. Oh, <laughs> I always touch my screen, touch the iPad. There we go. And eventually we'll get asked for a username and password here because remember, we don't want just anybody to be able to push up. Another nice thing here is we don't have to authenticate into the main file. So your Go folks, they just have to auth into the intermediary file. It's a little safer. So it's going to start pushing records up here one at a time. And again, it does this transactionally so that whole invoices make it up there. Uh, if you have a slow enough connection, you'll kind of see this half screen. But eventually it'll settle down into a nice progress screen and let you know that you're kind of uploading. In fact, this ding is one of my favorite things, you know, that FileMaker Go paints the screen in quadrants. So if you're careful about positioning things, you can get little effects like this, a little ding every time we get a record up. I think it's actually every couple of records. But we're going to let this go for a little bit over this 3G connection. It won't get too many done, but we'll see how far we get. You know, we're driving away, and eventually we'll break our 3G connection here, which I'm going to simulate by clicking the little stop button. And that'll crash go. Perfect. And let's see what happened. So I'll reopen FileMaker Go here. And you don't see the file because it was completely closed. Middle of the script running. Let's click Mobile and see what invoice we got to. So click Invoices. And all right, we made it past the first page. That's good. Let's see. Did we get 50 or so? We did not get 50 done. All right, let's scroll back a little bit and see how many we did get. Maybe 25. Oh, perfect. Okay, so here's one, and we got to invoice 779. Perfect. So let's see what the server thinks happened. So we'll back to our server, we'll click Refresh, and we have a bunch of invoices here that made it. Well, what's the last one that made it up? There it is, 779. These two files will always be in sync. That's kind of the beauty of GoSync, right? It knows how to push records up to the server transactionally so that if something happens in the middle of the script, you close your iPad, you get a phone call, you drive out of 3G range, whole invoices, and that's the invoice and its line items, will either be moved up to the server or they won't. And you'll always know which ones got went up there and which ones didn't make it. It's one of my favorite things about GoZinc. Um, thanks for checking it out.